This is the New York Sports Machine on WICR. Hi there. This is uh, the SNJ Sports Blast. I'm Sam Lawson, John Nickus. That's right. And we're back at it, boys. Um, this week, I think we're going to talk a little bit about hockey this week. How do you feel about that, John? Sounds good to me. Um, I think the big news that's happened as of late is perhaps the the fact that Lundqvist is coming back, huh? Yep, yep. Lundqvist was cleared to play uh, yesterday, I think. And uh, tonight, the Rangers play against Ottawa Senators, who are on a, are surging right now. They've won seven seven out of their last seven games, and uh, they got a hot goalie in uh, in Hammond. And uh, Lundqvist is going to be the backup to, to Cam Talbot tonight. Yeah, I see. That. Ottawa's won seven straight in nine out of their last ten. Yep. So you know, they're, this actually streak has actually surged them into you know the playoffs as of right yeah, now. Yeah, that's right. They they bounced right over Boston, and now they're in their last play the last playoff spot. And uh, let's see if they can hold on to it because I'd like to see Ottawa in the playoffs. They haven't been there in a, in, a, in a couple of years, so it'd be cool. Boston always makes it. Do you feel like uh, the Rangers are gonna be able to overcome and beat Ottawa today or no? I don't know. I I I can't tell you that. You know, Ottawa's doing really well, so we don't know. But the Rangers are doing amazing, too, so it could be a great great game. Two great backup goalies who have been playing uh, tremendously as of late. Yeah, and, you know, the thing about hockey is, like, once you get rolling, like, you, you, can, you, can, get, you can get on fire, and once you're on fire, you just keep kind of going with it, you That's know? Right, yeah. Um, but, yeah, speaking of the Rangers doing well, Rangers actually have won seven of their last ten, even though they just lost to the Kings the other night. Uh, but they kind of been on the road too. So, but you mentioned something uh, with the backup goalies. Mm-hmm. Um, Cam Talbot, yeah, kind of been holding it down without Lundqvist being there, huh? Yeah, that's right. He really stepped up and he's been playing excellent since since uh, Lundqvist went down. Yeah, um, actually, he's even the record he's had without Lundqvist: uh, seventeen wins, three losses, and three overtime losses. That's pretty incredible numbers right there. <laughs> yeah, so you know he's kind of been holding it down since you know Lundqvist hasn't been there. Yeah, um, a nice little stopgap. So. With the way that, you know, Talbot's been playing, you know, he's been really impressive, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, especially from a backup goalie, 17-3-3 is kind of unheard of. Mm-hmm. You know, that's actually starter-type quality numbers. It is, yep. So what do you think about possible trades, maybe Lundqvist or Talbot? Right. During the offseason, of course. Right. So I've heard a couple uh, things on the internet before about this offseason, and there's a possibility that the Rangers are thinking about trading uh, Talbot um, you know, to pick up some other valuable pieces for the team. And this is just because Talbot, yeah, Talbot's been playing great. We don't know if he is going to turn into, like, a first-string uh, goalie. But um, because of the way he's been playing lately, it increases his trade value. And uh, you never know. The Rangers could get something out of that. But, you know, I don't know yet. I think Talbot's good. He should. Pro- I think he should stay with the, with the club, you know. And Lundqvist, uh, they're not going to trade him. There's no doubt about There's that. There's no chance yeah, in that, right? They won't trade him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think it's funny. You can never have enough goalies. You know, it's true. Especially goalies don't play every game anyway. Like they need the cage the day off anyway. Mm-hmm. So you know, especially when your one goalie goes down, hence how it happened this year. You know, and you know when you have a, a goaltender like Talbot who's able to hold it down without Lundqvist being there, I think that's very important. You know, I agree. Um, yeah. But if, let me ask you this: So if they were to trade away Talbot per se, like what do you think the Rangers would need most? Um, that depends. Um. You know, I've heard they've been eyeing, uh, like, some center out of, you know, Edmonton for a while now, like uh, Jordan Eberle or Taylor Hall. I don't think they would tra- trade tra- for Taylor Hall, but um, Jordan Eberle sounds, like, about right. You know, give him t- Cam Talbot. They need a goalie. Give him ta- Cam Talbot and maybe, you know, a, a first-round draft pick. They might do the- do it. And uh, that'll, you know, help the Rangers down, you know, in their depth. And uh, on the ice, you know. Yeah, I hear that. I hear <laughs> that. Um, switch it up a little bit. We're going to go into the other New York team, the other New York hockey team that, you know, uh, they've kind of been on a little bit of a slide lately, you know. Uh, the New York Islanders, uh, they were a huge surprise coming out of the gates, um, really killing it. And as of late, even though they kind of had, you know, played well against the Rangers this year, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, but even with that said, like, out of their last 10 games, they have three wins, four losses, and three overtime losses. So, you know, this even though they have a, a nice five point lead, um, into like the um into the wild card spots and they have even a nine point lead over missing playoffs, they're probably most definitely gonna make the playoffs. Yeah, they'll make the playoffs. And uh once they're in the playoffs it's unpredictable. You know, they haven't really been in there for a while, uh for a couple of years. So you never know how they could be. They're this year this year they've been playing unbelievable. They went on a little uh 
you know, they're on a downfall right now, but that could change quickly. Uh, you know, their star player, the dentist, John Tavares, has been playing incredible still. So, you know, um, I don't know if they have any injuries, though. That's, uh, you know, what's their record now? 3-4-3 three, and three in the last 10? In the last 10, and their record <coughs> overall is 44 wins, 25 losses, and 5 overtime losses. Yeah, so I don't I don't know. I don't think they have any uh, injuries right now. But, yeah, they've been on the downfall, I guess. I mean, they've had Mikhail Grigorovsky injured, but he's been injured for a while now. That's so, yeah. So you know, that's not necessarily like anything new. That's kind of like led into like their struggle as of late. You yeah, know? I can't really tell what it is. Maybe they'll maybe they're just in a slump. You know, that happens sometimes. Yeah, sometimes you just hit the wall. Yeah. You know, maybe they'll come out of it. But I'll say this: it's definitely the worst time to start hitting the wall with only about eight games left in the season. The playoffs coming. Like you gotta be at, at your top, at your best form. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Speaking of your top form, LA Kings. Yeah, that's a great transition right there. You know? I was just about to say the Kings. Uh, yeah, they're they're doing the opposite of what the the Islanders are doing right now. You know, they had a pretty mediocre regular season so far. Now that the season's almost over, they're actually outside of playoff spot by by what two points I'd say. And uh, yep, two points, two points. And but man, they've been playing pff, um, tre- tremendous hockey as of late. And uh, you know they're really surging. They just beat the Rangers, the best team in the le- in the NHL, and uh, I think I think this is the right time to get hot. And they've done this before uh, a couple seasons lately, where they've just surged at the right time, right before the playoffs, right in the middle of the playoffs. I think um, last season <clears throat> they made the NA- made the playoffs as the last seed, which is what it's looking like might happen this year. And then right there, you know they just ran away with it all. They're they're incredible in the playoffs. And it could happen again. I easily see them making it to the Stanley Cup. No matter no matter how they place, you know, at the beginning of the playoffs. Uh I can see it too. Uh definitely. Um I mean six two and two in the last ten, they they get hot at the right time. We were just talking about how the Islanders and, you know, slumping at the wrong time. The Kings get hot at the right time. And, you know, if they can they only have nine games left, so the time's running out to make up two points. But if they can catch up to so to Winnipeg and take over that last wild card mm-hmm. spot I mean, I can absolutely see them making a run because it's always the hottest teams in the playoffs that tend to do well in the playoffs. You know, just because you have the best record throughout the regular mm-hmm. season doesn't always mean, you know, you're going to do well in the playoffs, you know? And that shows for Saint, the Blues right now because they have 99 points, the best team in the in the West. And it's been like that for a couple seasons now. The Blues have always been one of the top teams in the West. But then once the playoffs comes, you know, they, they kind of struggle. I don't, I don't know what's going on with them, but, uh, you know, they always lose early in the playoffs. So, you know, it's it, it's just a matter of being hot at the right time, I'd say. Yeah, and jumping back to the Islanders really quickly with the dealing with the hot, um, I think it's especially important for Islanders to try and get hot going into the playoffs mm-hmm. because they don't have the experience of being in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. You know, like they're not used to being in that environment with all that uh, hostility and pressure. So I think it's even more important if, they get, if they're hot going into the playoffs, I think it's very important because there'll be less on their mind, you know, it'll come naturally to them. You know, you don't want them to, you know, um, hit a hit a roadblock in the playoffs because they didn't finish the season off strong. You know. Mm-hmm. So uh, last thing we uh, wrap up with is like, where do you see like the Stanley Cup playoffs? Like, who do you think is gonna make it to the Stanley Stanley Cup? Right. Okay. So, <clears throat> so for me, um, I might be a little biased here, but I I see the Rangers going to the Stanley Cup uh, finals. Um, you know, they have they'll probably have a lot of great teams to you know overcome their you know the Islanders I'm sure they might meet up with the Islanders at some point in the playoffs and they're unpredictable you know Detroit every team there is good the Montreal maybe they want revenge from last year um you know but I see the Rangers have a great team mm-hmm. and maybe even better than last year and I see them going to the to the uh the finals and on the western co- on the western side I do see um even though they're not even in the playoffs yet, I can see the Kings going all the way back. I can even see them winning this really? year. Yep. A kind of rematch of last year's Stanley yeah, Cups. Yeah, rematch. That would be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the way I see right now going, I mean, if everything works out right, I actually might actually pick the Rangers as well. Uh, they're they're playing. They're really hot right now. They're getting their best, the best one of the best goaltenders in the league back. Um, they're firing all cylinders right now, so I could definitely see them uh, make it to the Stanley Cup again. Um, especially since they'll be playing at home a little bit more, so that's always helpful. Right. Um, than last year. Um, in the West, I'm actually gonna throw a little different. I might. I see. I can see the Blackhawks. Okay. You know, yeah. Chicago Blackhawks. They I mean they 
perform well in the playoffs almost every year. I mean, they perform well in the regular season every year, and then go into the playoffs, perform well in the playoffs almost every year as well. Mm-hmm. You know, um, no, whoever they play is gonna they're gonna be a struggle. You know, um, so yeah. I I can definitely see Chicago maybe like you know going back to the Stanley Cup. I think it's been like two years since they since they went to the Stanley Cup. Yep, final. yep. And the thing with the the Blackhawks is their best player uh, Patrick Kane has been out injured for a, a while now, but you never know. They've they've been playing pretty well lately, but. Patrick Kane is supposed to come back right when the playoffs are supposed to start. So, you know, that could propel their team and just to give them that extra boost. They could be really uh, dangerous yeah. in the playoffs. You know? Patrick Kane, Towels, like that combination yep. can just be lethal, you it know? It is lethal, yep. So, on that note, that's our show for the, for the evening. It's Sam Garcia alongside. John Nickus. And it's always a pleasure to have you guys here. Good night.